Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at inserting images into cells and some of the pitfalls that you may come across if you try to do so. So let's look at the pitfalls first. If I insert a column between A and B, you can see that although these three logos behave themselves, this logo stubbornly stays in its original position. So how do we avoid that? Same would be the case if I was to expand the width of column A. Again, the MS logo stays where it is. Definitely don't want that. And the other scenario, scenario is where I filter a list. So I'm just showing John Lewis. Then, although the other logos have disappeared and the John Lewis logo has moved up to the correct position, again, the MS logo has stayed where it is. So, why is this the case? Well, let me just delete that logo and I'll reinsert it. So insert picture, MS, insert. And I'll just change the size of it it's slightly too big for our purposes. So I'll just pop it in the correct position. And what I'm going to do is right click, format picture. Then you, over here on the left, you go to the size of properties button and then expand the properties section. It may not be expanded by default. And what you'll probably have selected is don't move or size with cells, that radio button there. And all you do is you click this radio button and that will solve the problem. Move and size with cells. So now let's just try to insert a column. You can see it works. Also, if I was to filter John Lewis, you can see I can only see the John Lewis logo. All the other logos have been hidden along with their rows. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue PK and Computer Training. If you've liked this tip and trick, then consider subscribing to our channel.